Hey guys, in this video I'm changing the ignition coil on a Honda GX200 clone. I'll start by removing the air filter cover and remove the air filter. Remove the two carburetor stud nuts. And if there's a bolt here, make sure to remove it. Now disconnect the hoses behind the housing. Pull the air filter housing off and disconnect the hose. Next I'll remove the engine cover. There are four bolts holding it down. The bolt next to the gas tank here is a little bit tricky to remove. I'm going to unscrew it all the way. Then I'm going to put my finger over the bolt inside the socket so it doesn't fall out of the socket. Next I'll remove the ignition coil primary wire, open up the clip and pull it apart to disconnect it. Sneak the cover out under the carburetor links and flip it to the right, being careful not to break the wires on the right side. Next I'll unscrew the two bolts to remove the coil. Pull the primary coil wire out, disconnect the spark plug boot and pull it out behind the carburetor. So here's the new coil. I'll start by routing the primary wire under the gas tank and the spark plug wire behind the carburetor. The wire should run through this notch above the carburetor. Before reinstalling the coil, make sure that the primary wire is running behind this mounting post. And now reinstall the coil bolts loosely. To set the air gap between the coil armature and flywheel, I'm going to use a piece of paper folded in four. This is standard 20 pound printer paper which folded in four measures 0.015 of an inch. This falls right in the middle of the allowable range for this engine, which is 0.008 to 0.024 of an inch. So I'll put the paper between the flywheel and the coil and just very lightly press the coil so it rests against the paper. It's important not to push too hard here and squish the paper down because then it won't come out later. Now tighten the screws very lightly and pull the paper back. So it's a little bit too tight. I'm going to nudge the coil back a little. And the paper slides good now and I can tighten the coil down. Now I'm going to check the gap with my feeler gauge. So the bottom is good and the top is good. So I have the gap set to about 0.013 inch or 0.33 millimeters. Next I'll reinstall the engine cover. Slip it under the carburetor links. And to align it, pull the starter cord a bit. And that should be all the way down. Now I can reinstall the screws. Reconnect the coil wire. I'm going to clip it down. And connect it to the kill switch. The spark plug wire should run in front of the valve cover hose and reconnect it and make sure that it clicks over the spark plug. Reconnect the top hose to the air filter box. Make sure that the gasket is aligned and slide the air box back in. Ensure that the choke lever lines up so it can slide in. and push the bottom hose back on. 
reinstall the nuts. Install the air filter. And put the air filter cover back on. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Thanks for watching!